This is the Flashpoint era of the Flash TV show. This is Barry Allen has uh, gone back in time to have some moments with his uh, uh, his mother and father and has had to re reconcile with the fact that uh, uh, he changed things in the timeline that he shouldn't have. So he goes back to what he thinks is the real timeline for himself and ends up realizing that he has screwed even more stuff up than he ever thought he could. Uh, he's got a new uh, person in the criminal labs department. This, this is the guy from Harry Potter. I forget the guy's name, I'm sorry. It's uh, Tom Felton from Harry Potter uh, is his, uh, his colleague in the, uh, the crime investigation unit there that he's in. And he hates him. Barry Allen just cannot get along with this dude who, um, and Tom Felton's character hates all the metahumans and wants to hunt them all down. And then he gets back into uh, the Star Labs kind of environment and he sees that there's a totally different kind of, you know, relationship building between all of the leads that we have in the show. For the first couple of episodes, we don't even have Tom Cavanaugh's character in there. Uh, and he's greatly missed. He's such an iconic component of, uh, of the Flash vibe. And uh, he, does, he does come back and he brings uh, Jesse Quick. His daughter has become now a new part of the, the Speedster universe there. She is a new superhero in the show, Jesse Quick. Um, and Wally West, uh, who is uh, um, Detective West's son, is feeling angsty because his powers uh, have not taken effect and he doesn't have the super speed. So they're, you know, these CW shows always have a little bit of melodrama. They always have a little soap opera vibe to them. Um, I feel like these first four episodes that I've seen of The Flash have been a little underwhelming. They've been a little too kind of uh, villain of the week. Um, and, you know, everything is just sort of dusted off and figured out kind of by the end of the show. But then there's this overarching uh, uh, through line of like there is major confusion and the ramifications of Flashpoint haven't fully taken effect. It feels like a kind of a slow start, ironically enough to The Flash. I, um, I love this show. It's probably my favorite of the superhero shows that are out there. One of, th one of the things that I really like is the, it, it is unabashedly uh, about, you know, metahumans and superheroics and crazy superhero costumes and, and uh, you know, lots of incredible effects. Um, but we have a new villain, a sort of a major villain this, this year, not Zoom and uh, you know, some of the other sort of major villains that we've had in the past. This guy is called Alchemy, and he is aware of the Flashpoint sort of uh, conundrum that Barry Allen and the Flash have created, and he is trying to uh, uh, wreak havoc by um, uh, sort of reactivating people that were affected in different timelines, but not in this new Flashpoint timeline. And so through echoes of sort of dream situations that these, these characters have, uh, they come to encounter alchemy who then uh, gets them to have their own powers and then they become villains that f the Flash handily takes apart before the end of an episode. And we saw that happen again and again in uh, the first four episodes. Uh, the performances are all still solid. I still love the relationship between Barry and Iris. I feel like they're really trying to re... because this there's a lot of... Uh, uh, it's a new timeline, so there's a lot of new relationships being built again, but they're kind of trying to reconnect in this new Flashpoint, post-Flashpoint timeline that they're trying to, uh, trying to carve out right now. And what's interesting is to watch, uh, you know, the Flash try to grapple with, you know, tr thinking about going back and trying to fix things again, but knowing that he'll just make things worse. And so it will be... It will be cool to see, and I'm definitely along for the ride with this. I love this show, and, and it can have some off episodes, but the cast is so damn solid, and, and uh, the, the loopiness of these, uh, you know, these, these old DC Comics dreams uh, realized on te in television form just makes it addictive as hell for me. Um, it will be interesting to see how they reconcile all of this Flashpoint stuff, you know? And uh, we're starting to see not just Earth-2 characters, we have an Earth-17 or an Earth-19 uh, uh, character that pops up into the show. If you haven't watched any of The Flash, for whatever reason, you are doing yourself a disservice. If you're remotely interested in comic books, and if you like video games, if you like our stuff, I, was just, I would suspect that you would be a fan of something like this. The Flash is fantastic. Um, and they're getting some great guest directors as well. Kevin Smith directed an episode last year that was awesome, and he's already come back for more for this season. 
Uh, I don't think it's aired yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm sticking with it. The first four episodes of The Flash, though, it's uh, a little underwhelming, giving them an eight out of 10, but I'm definitely gonna keep watching. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.